and uh, you know, the hit was pretty good. Maybe we got a long way to go. Be a good football team. Long, long way to go. Here, the decision to, uh, I guess, let the quarterbacks take some contact and stuff. Is that a change up just because a lot of these guys haven't been out there? Uh, we generally have done that. I, I, would, I would suggest Chase for his yeah. first scrimmage, maybe. But generally, what you do when you guys haven't had guys in the arena get hit very much, we like to do that. And what, what that jersey allows the defense to do is to hit them high. Can't tackle them, hit them low. But it, it also gets real time for them. So now it's sitting back there and getting tagged like everything's nice and nothing's nice back there, okay? And what this is, they get jarred around, and that, I think that it helps them instinctively react better. Uh, will we continue to do it? I don't know. We'll make a decision, you know, before each uh, for each scrimmage. Do you see Gabbert try, kind of taking charge of, of things well, here as I, far I, as his I, leadership? I thought, and all? I thought he did some good things. I think he's getting better. I think that's all. That's all we want. And, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's been showing very good leadership qualities. Uh, but the best thing a quarterback does is lead by by winning you know, and, and, and scoring points. So. Uh, he's doing some good things and I just want to keep getting better each week. What kind of help is it having Chase out here? Oh, it's, it's really good because Coach Yost is calling the plays now and it really for young quarterbacks and even though I used to coach quarterbacks, I, I, I'm managing the scrimmage and I'm evaluating a lot of things. So having Chase Daniel out here, he's actually coach. He could coach. You know, he's, he, co you, he could hire him right now to coach quarterbacks. He's good enough to do it. Don't tell him I said that. Okay? <laughs> you can't emotionally deal with that. But, uh, uh, no, he's, it's, it's great. You know, and, and he's a uh, very sharp guy and it really, really helps us. No question. And obviously the guys that he's coaching, that's, that, that means a lot to them because they have so much respect for him. Um, you know, it, was, it was a pretty good day, first full scrimmage. Um, both All groups came out and competed today. And, and, I mean, that's the thing. you got to get a locker room full of competitors. That's the way you get a good football team. A lot of contact out there. There's been a lot of contact the last week or so in practice. Is that something you guys are trying to step up a little bit this year? Definitely, man. We're trying to be a way more physical football team than what we were last year. And I think we're making steps here and there. Coach said a lot of mistakes, penalties, things like that. Is that, you know, that's kind of the first scrimmage kind of stuff, though, isn't it? Yeah, you, you definitely have to take that into um, into account. But um, we really just got to get focused early. That's the thing. We came out and we had mental errors and penalties early. And I think we kind of fixed it as the scrimmage went on. But I, overall, I think it was a pretty good scrimmage. You know, hopefully some good things come from it. What's the uh, biggest difference with Coach Steck now? <laughs> Man, let me think. Yeah, he, take your time. He, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's more involved with everybody else. It's not just me he's chewing out now. You know, he's, he's on everybody now. So that's that's one of the big differences I've seen. But he, he definitely, he definitely, we definitely know who's in charge and the way things are going to be done. We just got to go ahead and go along with him, and that way we'll be a better unit. You know, one thing we noticed was after an interception, he runs across the field the other side. And, uh, I mean, what, what does that do for your confidence and just, you know, especially for the young guys? Well, you know, if you have a lot of enthusiasm out there and a lot of guys having fun, then I'm pretty sure you'll be playing some pretty good football. You know, that's what football is all about, having a good time with your friends and just, you know, going out there and just having fun. And I think with Coach Steck bringing that energy to us, it definitely helps us out. Just got to come out here every day and work hard. Thanks. Blaine, do you feel like you're distancing yourself from the backups at this point, and you, like you're settling in? Uh, I mean, I just come out here, like I said, and work hard. Uh, leave all position moving up and down to, to the coaches, and you just got to let your play speak for itself. Where do you feel more comfortable now than maybe two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Yeah, I mean, of course you do. Once you get the reps under your belt and just getting kind of the mojo down with the offense, you feel, of course, I feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, uh, How kind of help is having Chase Daniel out here? Oh, I mean, that's tremendous help. Just the comfort factor of him just coaching you up after every play, telling you what you did and giving, help, giving me – Compliments, just good read, good throw, good ball placement. That just kind of helps a lot. What are the finer points that you still want to work on? Oh, I mean, just just accuracy, of course. I mean, making plays when you had to, trying to, like on that last two-minute drill, converting that fourth down. You just got to make something happen. I saw that a lot of the offensive linemen talking with you, you know, over on the sideline. Do you feel like, you know, these are your guys? Are you yeah. taking that kind of role? Of course. I mean, you got to bond with them because they got your back, and you, when they block, you got to make plays. Thanks. Any hang-ups about getting knocked around today? No, I mean, that's fun. I mean, context great. It just makes you play that much better. Coach said that was kind of something he was going to kind of gauge from scrimmage to scrimmage. Is that kind of how you guys look at it as quarterbacks? Uh, from, you know, he was saying, you know, from the top up basically is where you guys are getting hit, nothing below the waist. Yeah, I mean, football is football. You're going to get hit anyway, um, throwing the ball. I think they're just trying to limit, like, blind sides. But, I mean, we're, we're full go. First scrimmage thoughts, what do you think so far? Uh, I mean, I thought the offense had a real good day. Offensive line blocked extremely well. Running backs ran hard, and the receivers made a lot of plays. 
When, when you're getting hit like that, does that get you a little more into these scrimmages? I mean, does that help from a, a, a mental standpoint of keeping you sharp too? When you're... Yeah, of course. I mean, you feed on contact, it get, gets your adrenaline going. I mean, you don't want to get laid out. So, I mean, you just got to go out there and make plays.